Hey everyone, I'm finally back with another market result video. I was supposed to have a show on July 20th, but it got canceled due to low vendor registration. Thankfully, I did get my money back, but I was still a little bummed because I had to wait for my next show, which was on September 7th, and that was this past weekend. Before I talk about the actual show though, I'm gonna go over my inventory and the prices because I, I did update some prices, but if you wanna skip to the actual results of the show, I'll put the timestamp down here on the screen. For this show, I'm gonna do like a $5 section, a $10 section. So these are all my $5 items. Over here, I have little Actos. Some of them are keychains. Then I have some chicken nuggets. These have either smiley face or like a little derp face. This entire basket is full of mushy pops. The last show that I did, I saw a bunch of kids walking around with these. Somebody was selling them and everybody liked them. So I was like, I've got to make some. I've got this little tiny chicken, this basket of gummy bears, this basket right here. I need to organize it a bit, but I've got bee keychains and whales in here. And the whales are both regular whales and also keychains. I have a bunch of these velvet scrunchies and wristlets. I really like these wristlets, but I put these out for the past few shows I've done and I've like nobody has hardly bought any so I'm gonna lower the prices on them the scrunchies were at five I'm gonna lower them to three and the wristlets were at six but I'm gonna lower them down to five these I think I'm gonna put on clearance I have not had a clearance section at my shows before but this B is just a little lopsided. I didn't really use stick to a pattern for him. I just made him myself and he doesn't look great. And then this dog is laying down because I, <laughs> I overstuffed him and he won't sit up. So he's gonna go into clearance as well. This is gonna be my $10 section. I've got mallards, chicks, and eagles. If you didn't see my previous market video, I've had a really hard time selling those. I've also got some of these mushy boys some cats which are new at this market these stingrays this one is going to be 12 but the non pancakes will be 10. i have a gecko these little poppet frogs are new this time some octos i don't really know how i like these colors <laughs> but I haven't felt like making any more. And I've got my little hanger. He's so cute. I kind of hope somebody doesn't buy him. <laughs> Just kidding. And he comes out. So that's my $10 section. I forgot this guy too. He will be in the $10 section. These are all gonna be $12. There's the pancake ray, and then I've got some geese, which those are new for this show. These turtles, I had them at $15 and they're not very big. Like that's one next to the Stingray. So I dropped the price to $12 on that. My axolotls will be $13. This dolphin has not gotten much attention, so I dropped his price down to $25. This dinosaur has also not gotten very much attention, and I did have him at like $50 some dollars, so I dropped him down to $40. I've got two jellyfish, and I priced them at $20, down from $22. This cow, I have him priced at $35. This swan is really top heavy. His head <laughs> like won't let him sit up. He just wants to fall right over. But I have him priced at 25 because he does still look pretty good. This little elephant sadly has not got a lot of love. He was at $22 and I dropped him down to 20. My cows are by the same pattern writer, uh, Madeline Mako, and I decided to drop them to 20 because they're like almost the same size as the elephant. These chickens I have personally not been able to sell very well, so I dropped the price down to $10 at my last show and I managed to, to get some off my table, so these will be $10 again. I've got this bee that has got virtually no attention since I started doing shows. I had him at $18 before and I dropped him to 15 for this show. I also have a bunch of these bees that have not done very well. And I personally, this is Bernat and I don't really like using Bernat. So kind of want to sell these and get them out of my inventory. I'm going to drop the price to only $8 for these, which is just like the leggy froggies. I had them at $10. Didn't really sell them very much, and I'm gonna try $8 this time. 
I've got this giraffe. I really like this pattern. And every time that I've had a giraffe, whether it's this pattern or there's another pattern I like, they sell like right away. And I have this guy at $26. I have one big loaf cat and I'm gonna price him at $20. I have Avena Avocado is her name from the pattern. And I'm gonna price her at $12. This turtle I'm pricing at $15 because the this one is obviously much bigger. So I'm gonna price him a little bit more. I have got two chubby dinos that have barely gotten any attention. I don't know if it's the colors. I did sell two other chubby dinos of different colors, but these specifically have not gotten much love, even though I really like their colors, and I have them at $18 each. Here's my ostrich, which a lot of people think that he is a turkey, and I can definitely see why with the colors. So hopefully with Thanksgiving coming up, somebody will want him. I've got him at $14. He's not new, I had him at my last show, but I had him at $16, and everybody that picked him up set him right back down. Okay, we're getting into some that I'm super excited about. This is Crochet by Jenna's dog pattern. It's like a four-in-one pattern for four different birds. And I made it with the Little Bunny Fuzzy Yarn. And I just, I love it so much. I kind of don't even want to sell it, but I want to see how it does at the show. So I have him at $18. He took me a long time because that yarn is not easy to work with. And finally, this time, I have three dragons by Crochet by Jenna again. I really love the two colors here. And then this one I made in the Little Bunny Fuzzy Yarn, and I just, I love him. I love him so much. Again, this is another one I don't want to sell, but I want to see how he does. So I've got him priced at the same price as the two bigger ones because he took longer than the two bigger ones to make. And they are at $28. And then for what I'm most excited for is my dogs. This is a 5K where people can bring their dogs and run with them. So my idea was to make as many dogs as I could, but this is all that I got to. So this dog right here is actually a pattern that I just created. I put a video out for a tutorial for it. Um, that was my last video, so go check that out if you wanna make one of these. This is one I got from Etsy and it's a snuggler pattern. I don't really like how it turned out with the parfait chunky i think it needs that bigger burnett type yarn but i still think he's pretty cute i made this guy right here and he's kind of uh, goofy looking like he's cute but his ears just stick out a little bit too much and his legs are different than what i was i'm using on the new pattern his body's a little bit short <laughs> So he's a little goofy, but he's still really cute. And then this one, I really like him a lot. He's not perfect, but I did make him on my own. And I like that he can, he can like sit up like that. Or he could lay with his back legs underneath him like that. Or he could lay with his legs straight out like that. I would like to turn this one into a pattern too, just because I really like the fact that he can do that and these other guys can't really sit up like that the husky is bigger too he is longer and a little bit fatter him i have at 18 dollars, and then the rest of these i'm gonna price at 16 dollars. so this event was actually a 5k where people could bring their dogs and do the race with them and then when they were done with the race they could come back and visit the food trucks and also shop it was my first time doing this show so i was a little bit worried but the booth fee was 125 dollars. all of the booths were indoors the the race was outdoors but all the booths were indoors and we were supposed to be set up from 7 30 in the morning until noon at this show i was the only crochet table which is the first time that ever happened before but it ended up being a really great turnout and i'm really excited to share my results wasn't sure how much my clearance section was going to be, but I ended up lumping it all in with the $5 stuff. From my $5 section, I ended up selling both of my small chickens, five mushy pops, one chicken nugget, two leggy frogs, two octos, including a small one and also the one from my clearance section, three bees, including the one from my clearance section, and also the dog from the clearance section. For my $10 section, I sold all four cats, which is funny because it was like a dog event. I also I also sold one of my big chickens, one mallard and one chick. Woo! <laughs> also the opossum and the gecko both found homes. The pink octopus 
and I also sold my froggy hanger. He got so much love. Everybody was obsessed with him, especially when I showed that he could come out and he went pretty quickly. And then for $12 each, I sold one sea turtle and the avocado. I sold two axolotls for $13 each. That German Shepherd that I was a little unsure about for $16. The green chubby dino, he was my very first sale, I believe, and he was $18. Both of my jellyfish were sold for $20 each, which is funny because they had gotten no attention before, none. My giraffe found a home for $26 and also my big cow for $35. The top three best selling items would be the mushy pops, the cats, and the bees. A shout out to the froggy hanger and the avocado because those were both brand new items and they got a ton of attention and they sold really quickly. Also a shout out to the giraffe and the cows because those always do well at the shows. And my jellyfish, just because I sold two of them for $20 each, so that's amazing. That left me with 25 sales total and three of those were actually people who had bought something, left and came back and bought again. I sold 37 items and and that was for a total of $378. So minus $125 for the booth fee, $8.93 in square fees, and about $15 in state taxes. That leaves me with $229 profit. <laughs> I'm so happy with these results. I was really worried about it, but things picked up and I honestly made the majority of my sales from like nine to 11.30. So to make that much within like a two hour period, I'm so happy. It was also the most items that I've sold at a show so far. I'm sure it helped that my prices were pretty low on some of the items, like the clearance items. But honestly, I really just wanted to find homes for them. And the lady who bought the dog for $5 she was so happy about it. So just to be able to make somebody happy was nice too. But I only sold that one German Shepherd. I did not sell a single one of my own dogs. So we'll see at my next shows that are coming up. I use part of my earnings from this show to sign up for another show that's at the same location. It's a different event, but it's right down the street from my house. So I figured I'd do it. With that show I just signed up for, I now have a total of six shows coming up in a row and they all start in October. So I will definitely be making result videos for those as well. And I'm so excited because it's my first time that I'm gonna be selling in the fall. I started selling in the spring this year and it's been pretty slow and everyone I talk to, all the other vendors I talk to say, wait till the fall. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.